What's up, everybody? <laughs> so, this is going to be Tuesday's workout. Uh, doing it outside, because why not? Uh, we're going to start with the arm bar stretch. And then go ahead and twist into it. Kind of feel that big stretch in your shoulder. We're going to hold for 30 seconds on each side. Next, we're going to do a 60 second squat hold. So I just want you to sit at the bottom of your squat, chest up. You can pin your elbows in between your knees and drive out a little bit, stretch your hips out. Feet nice and flat. Don't come up on the toes. Keep those heels down, chest up. We're going to try to hold that for a full 60 seconds without getting out of it. Then we got the rest of our prime. We're going to do two rounds. First thing we're going to do is IYTs. So you have your eye position, thumbs pointed up. We're gonna do 10 reps in that position and out into our Y, 10 reps in the Y, and then out into our T, 10 reps into a T. Next you have an Arnold's press. So I don't have my dumbbells with me, but you would hold your dumbbells in a curl position. So Arnold press, you're gonna curl and then rotate into a press and you can do it seated or standing and then back down, back into your curl, curl up, press up. Bring it back to that front rack position with your palms pointed towards you and then back down. Ten of those. For the last part of your primer, you're going to find something to step on. And we're going to do ten leg pumps or step up pumps. So what that means, we're coming up and down, just barely tapping the ground. Really getting that quad warmed up or really not doing a full step up or just doing the up and down portion of it. It's ten of those on each leg. Let's go. Too, too fast. All right, for our strength work, we're gonna do four sets. The first thing is going to be a renegade reverse fly. Exactly what it sounds like. You're starting in your renegade position and you're doing a fly out to the side. Okay, and then you would switch arms and do the other side. Next is a dumbbell bench press with the tempo. If you don't have a bench, you just do a floor press. So all the way down to your elbow taps the floor. I'm not gonna go into a ton of time demonstrating that because you guys know what those things are. The biggest thing with this one is the tempo. It's a three zero X one tempo. So that means three seconds down, one, two, three, zero at the bottom. So we're not stopping at the bottom. We're exploding back up. That's the X and then a one second pause at the top. So one, two, three, explode up. One second pause at the top, right back into a one, two, three, explode up. So that's what you're gonna do for your dumbbell bench press uh, or floor press if you need to do that. The last part of your strength work is going to be five to ten chin-ups. And if you don't have a pull-up bar or you can't do some type of a towel row, a supinated towel row, uh, what you're going to do is a bent-over dumbbell curl. So just like your normal dumbbell curl, except we're going to be in this bent-over position. If you have two dumbbells, you can alternate arms. Okay. And that's all we're going to do is just alternate arms in that bent-over curl position. So that's going to be your modification if you don't have a pull-up bar for your strength work. Knock out four sets, and then we'll go back outside for our conditioning work. We got our conditioning work for Tuesday. It's gonna be a little mini Murph action. You got an 800 meter run, followed by seven rounds of your pull-ups, push-ups, and squats, five, 10, and 15. So I don't have a pull-up bar out here, but this is a really good modification, uh, especially for those of y'all that haven't been doing pull-ups. You probably shouldn't be doing a lot of pull-ups anyways. You wanna build up your lats and your shoulders a little bit more. So you have a couple of options with something like this. You can do some rows, okay? Or you could actually do a seated, uh, more of a seated pull up. Just trying to use the upper body and relax the legs. And if you wanted to really make it harder and, and more challenging, you can go back towards this thing and pull into a behind the neck pull up. That's very challenging. You'll be sliding up and down it. So a lot of options you can come up with with something like this. If you can uh, get creative, you can also do the old uh, around the doorknob thing if you're inside the house. So some options there. And then 10 push-ups, nice and tight, good neutral position. You don't want to be too narrow, you don't want to be too wide. Just neutral position with your push-up position. And then uh, knees down if you need to, knees up if you can. And then good air squats all the way down below parallel, stand all the way back up. So you got seven rounds of five, 10, and 15. And then another 800 meter run. That's your Tuesday workout. Have fun, make sure you do this one if you plan on doing Murph, it'll help you get ready for it.